The last time we reviewed a Canon M-Series camera, it was with the M100 and we were super surprised by how good it was. Today, we've got the brand new Canon M50 and we're gonna see if it's gonna blow us away again. So the Canon M50, it's a mirrorless camera aimed at entry level or enthusiast photographers, videographers and vloggers. In terms of the actual camera itself, it feels amazing in your hand. It's got a nice deep grip to it, which is great for long term use. In terms of how heavy it weighs, combined with the camera and the lens, you're looking at about 500 grams, so it's quite light. In terms of the back of the camera, you have a nice bright 2.36 million dot EVF with very little latency and a nice big three inch touchscreen as well for shooting as well as reviewing your photos. On the side of your camera, you've got a USB and a HDMI port and most importantly, a microphone port for you vloggers and video people. That five axis in body image stabilization works like a dream. I am the real tripod, hell yeah. So now just to go over the key features of the Canon M50. Firstly, it houses a big 24.1 APS-C megapixel sensor combined with a Digic 8 image processor. It can record 4K video up to 24 frames a second, Full HD up to 60, and HD up to 120 frames a second. In addition, it has a native ISO range of 100 to 25,600, 10 frames per second continuous shooting speeds, and it's got Bluetooth and Wi-Fi inbuilt so you can transfer your photos straight to your phone or use your phone as a remote. In addition, it has approved its optical image stabilization from the M100 from three axis to five axis. And if you're combining it with a lens that has image stabilization, it will do a combination of both. So after using the camera for a couple hours now, I've really come to love the dual pixel autofocus system that works on the M50. It's super quick, it's really accurate, but there are just a couple notes on it that you need to know. Firstly, the dual pixel AF does not work in 4K video mode. Canon don't have an explanation why, and neither do I. It just straight out doesn't work. And secondly, depending on what lens you use on the M50, the dual pixel autofocus will only use up to 149 of the points. On some other particular lenses, you only get 99 points. Other things I do love about the M50 performance wise, the image stabilization system is amazing in video and for photos as well. Lastly, the battery life on the camera is quite average. I think you'd get about less than 300 shots on it. Um, I've only been out for about two to three hours and the battery has dropped significantly, so just keep that in mind. I'm actually having a lot of fun shooting with this camera. The colours look awesome. The autofocus works pretty well. The sample images from today's shoot are shot on the Canon M50 combined with a kit lens, the 15 to 45 mil. I've shot all these photos today using the brand new compressed RAW file, the CR3. In terms of ISO performance, the M50 shares a similar performance to the M6 and the M100. Although we feel the M50 does perform a bit better at high ISOs. The colours from the M50 are amazing and what you would expect from a Canon camera. Images come out sharp and honestly there's not much to complain about on this front. So to kind of sum up, although the M50 doesn't have the best battery life 
and the dual pixel autofocus not working in 4K is quite weird. Honestly, for the price you're paying for the Canon M50 and the features that you get with it combined with the quality, it's honestly such a great camera. For people who are beginners, enthusiasts, vloggers, or anyone who's looking to travel with a light camera that wants to get good quality photos and video, the Canon M50 does deliver that. If you have any questions on the camera, make sure to pop them in the comments below. Make sure to follow us on our Facebook, Instagram, and our blog, which are linked in the description below, just to keep up to date with our latest events and what's going on in store. If you enjoyed our video, make sure to like it and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on our next video.